What is up, my Virgo friends? It's Tina from Trust and True Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. So today we're going to be doing your September 2018 general and or love forecast. Sorry, this is a little late, Virgo. I've been busy. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, Virgo, Virgo, September 2018, energy for Virgo. Zodiac sign of Virgo, September 2018. Okay, Virgo, while we are shuffling, just a couple quick things. If you need a personal reading, I can be reached at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. Um, I'm also available on Instant Go for quick answers to quick questions. Um, so you can hit me up there at trustandtruthtarot, and we can also do a phone reading through there. Um, just email me first so we can set up a time, por favor. Okay, so if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my readings, it's a nine-card spread for generals. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future, okay? I also clarify, do a bottom of the deck overview, and, ooh, wow, Virgo. Sorry, that's some, woo, yeah, I got some stuff going on. Um, and uh, do some oracle cards for you as well. All right, already we're getting into it. Ooh, Virgo, okay, let's see. Present energy for Virgo, two more. Wow, all right, and then in your future for Virgo, please. Let me scoot these up a little bit. Three cards for your future for Virgo. Wow, okay, <laughs> sorry. Page of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck, all right? Error energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, but Page of Swords reverse can be a little trickster okay this can represent gossip rumors lies and drama especially as it relates to social media so um you could be dealing with somebody who's very immature in communication okay maybe they're just like a juicy gossip kind of person and you know that could be fun every once in a while but this person seems to thrive off of that somebody may have been talking smack about you it could be virgo also that you were talking smack about somebody else okay so do be mindful um it's probably not the best way to handle things right especially if you're going to go on facebook and like put somebody on blast yeah think twice about it okay not not a, not a good look okay and hopefully nobody did that to you all right so, uh, recent past Virgo, Ten of Swords, all right? Air energy again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But listen, some of you guys literally had the final, like it was the straw that broke the camel's back. You're like, nope, nope, and noping out. You had enough, okay? They, this person or situation hurt you. This could be a, a person in your life. It could be a job, whatever. Just stabbed you in the back. And you were like, I'm done. I'm done, okay? Um, that's the ending of a cycle though, so that's good. So some of you guys, literally, it was just like that last piece and you were just like, boop, you know, cut them off, that type of thing. Um, next card we have here for you, Virgo, is the Empress, okay? This is a beautiful card, Taurus energy, Libra energy, okay? She's in the upright. This is about growth, okay, and opportunity, the birth of new things. Um, some of you guys now, I'm seeing here, this is going to probably resonate with maybe two people, okay? But um, that Ten of Swords can indicate surgery, or medical things. So for some of you guys, this could be even in vitro, like you have to take a million shots, okay? Um, something like that in order to get pregnant, all right? So maybe you're working on that or that happened for you, all right? And again, that's probably just going to relate to a couple of you. Um, others of you, though, it's like you're leaving a situation behind where you were just feeling betrayed, backstabbed, hurt, just constantly being hurt by this person or situation, and going into something more the Empress is like beautiful. She's patient. She's kind. She's smart. She, you know, she's very, um, very good at uh, putting all the pieces together and moving forward into something positive. She makes things happen. Okay. So you could have been dealing with somebody who was super immature and ridiculous or a job that was super immature and ridiculous, something like that. Okay. And you're just like, mm -mm, nope, I'm going to be the Empress now. I want growth. I want opportunity. I want, um, you know, good, good things, right? Beautiful things to happen in my life. So you ended that cycle, okay? Next card we have, uh, Four of Swords, okay? So the way that you might have ended that cycle, Virgo, is by cutting somebody off communication-wise, all right? Completely. Not speaking, blah, 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 all right? Um, somebody may have cut you off too, blocked you, something like that. But this is, this is really like taking a time out, okay? Removing yourself from the drama, all right? And taking some time to go in and, you know, get out of the situation basically because you see this like light at the end of the tunnel or you saw it and you're like there is a way out of this and you're just figuring out what that is okay so virgo present 
to a sword reverse. Very pinnacle crossroads, okay? Important decision um, that needs to be made in your present energy, but it looks like you're making it, okay? Like you took the blindfold off. You're not gonna be like, like blind to the situation anymore, trusting of the situation, because the situation has proven time and time again that it cannot be trusted, okay? So now it's like, you know what? I see that, I get it. I realize what's going on and I'm out, you know, like, or something along those lines, okay? But you're making a very big choice. The Two of Swords is usually at crossroads, all right? Um, next, we have the Ace of Swords. You guys are choosing to go into this victory, okay? New beginning. This is clarity, all right? But this is also victory. This is winning. So it's like you're leaving behind something that there was no, there was no winning, in the situation, okay? And you're going into something where it's like, yes, you're gonna be victorious. Again, it could be a job. It could be the fact that you just couldn't win with someone. This could be your mother, okay? Or a motherly figure in your life. Um, it was just like you were fighting a losing battle constantly. So you just decided, you know what? I'm, I'm walking into victory now. I'm, I'm moving towards my Ace of Swords, okay? And guess what that does? It brings you the Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. This is also a wish coming true, okay? So whatever you're wishing for, Virgo, something that you want to win here, you want to have a new beginning, all right? It's, it's coming in for you, but here's the thing, you know, you guys need to take some time out and make a decision because you are at a crossroads right now, it looks like, all right? You're going to have to choose your path at this point is what it's telling me, okay? So obviously what you want to do is choose abundance, you know, choose growth, choose a better life for yourself, you know, whatever that means to you, okay? But whatever you're wishing for, you can have it. You just need to make that choice, okay? Um, going into your near future, Virgo, we have the sun reversed, okay? This is Leo energy. Um, here's the thing. So sun reversed, again, if you're dealing with a Leo or any other fire sign, really, Sagittarius, Aries, um, you could be kind of having issues with that person, okay? It could be not going well. Um, for some of you guys, it could be your kids, okay? So if you're, you know, you're having a difficult time with your kids, they're driving you crazy, that type of thing, you may be like, oh my gosh, please grow up, especially if your kid is an air sign, all right? <laughs> they don't have to be, but it's like you're just waiting for them to get mature so that, you know, you don't have to deal with their, you know, the saga constantly, something like that. But that doesn't have to be a kid. It can be anybody in your life, really. But the sun reverse is feeling a bit melancholy, okay? Feeling like you're waiting for, you know, the sun to come out and shine on you, you know? And you're waiting patiently. I see that. You're doing all the work you need to do, Virgo. It's just like you're like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, sun, just pop out behind those clouds and, you know, shine the warmth down, all right? Um, so, Virgo, for some of you guys, this is absolutely relating to a job, okay? You guys have a new job coming in, some of you. Okay, this is, you know, card of work, um, but this is a good job for you. Okay, so if you're choosing to leave a place of employment to go into something better because you're not happy, whatever's coming in for you is going to be much better for you is what it's showing me. Okay, um, others of you, because it's a three, I will say that, you know, it could be third party situation. I'm not really clearly getting that though, Virgo. Usually that comes through very clear for me, but sometimes it does. I mean, it's a three, so I'll call it out because it's general, but it could be that, you know, you're involved with two people, your partner may be involved with two people, something along those lines. Okay. But, um, three of pentacles, honestly, you know, overall is a very good card. It's about teamwork, working together, everything running like clockwork. So don't be upset, you know, about what's going on right now, Virgo. Things are going to pan out for you, okay? And then we have the tower reverse. So we have Scorpio energy, but we also have uh, rebuilding something that crumbled, okay? So again, if this was a job and it was just like everything came to a head, shit hit the fan, okay? Or a relationship, it doesn't matter. Um, you're rebuilding from that now and you're building it from like the ground up, okay? Um, this is where the process begins this month, all right? All right, let's clarify. So 10 of swords, for Virgo. Why is the Ten of Swords for Virgo in their recent past? Ooh, so it's totally you. I mean, maybe you're dealing with another Virgo, but it's the Hermit. Yeah, you guys were hurt. Ouch. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and maybe it took you a while to realize that this person was just not going to change, you know? No matter what you did or said, it was just going to continue that way, you know? And you finally st stood up for yourself as the Hermit, okay? You saw the light. Like if you look at it, the lantern is lit, okay? He sees it. He knows what's going on. Everybody else sees it too. The dog, the snake. Okay. The empress. Why is the empress here? For Virgo. Justice. Wow. Libra. So we have two Libra energies here. Okay. Um, but again, this is about being fair and balanced. Okay. This is what you want. You don't want this immature, crappy, shitty situation. You want something that's equal. 
right? Equal give and take in a relationship, you know, something that's fair, something that's just, okay? You're seeking justice. Some of you guys, if you're dealing with a legal matter, it's going really well, all right? Um, that's what I see for you anyway. Um, it could be divorce. It could be anything, though, anything from a parking ticket all the way up, you know? So um, it looks like that will pan out well for you. Other, others of you, you have a Libra or maybe even a Taurus coming into your life that's going to work out really well for you, okay? Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here for Virgo? King of Pentacles. Again, that's you guys, okay? So cutting something off that was just not doing anything for your better good. You know what I mean? Just, just literally removing yourself from the situation. Again, you could have been blocking somebody. Somebody could have blocked you. Whatever the case may be, whatever it was, it's totally cool because it's going to help you make this decision, right? You're at this crossroads right now. Two of Swords. Victory. Six of Wands. You are choosing, you know, to be victorious. You're not going to meddle in piddly, petty crap anymore. You want victory. You want to win in this situation. And you will, is what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys may have somebody coming in, though, too. Fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. All right. Um, Ace of Swords. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. It's a slow-moving process. You are getting victories, but they're small victories. Wheel of Fortune reversed, okay? You're still in the reverse. And I, I feel, Virgo, honestly, it's because some of you guys are just still tolerating. You're still stuck in this energy back here. You're tolerating the bullshit still, you know, and you don't need to. Um, it's saying that if you cut that bullshit away and be brave enough to stand up for yourself and walk on your own, just like eliminate it from your life, your will's going to turn in the upright, okay? But right now it is reversed because you're still tolerating it. You're still putting up with it in some form or fashion. Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords reversed, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Um, but again, I feel like you guys see what you need to do, right? Take no prisoners, get rid of something, okay? You need to act fast, too, is what I'm seeing, Virgo. And I know that's not typical of Virgos, but um, this situation is going to call for you to do that, is what I'm getting, all right? Because you're going to see that you have, like, this amazing opportunity there with the Nine of Cups, Um and it's something that you just, it's, you've got to be cutthroat about it. I mean, it might be competition for a new job. There might be many competitors. You need to make sure your resume is the best resume, okay, that you are the top competitor for this. Um, and that's not hard for Virgo. Um, others of you, you know, if it's a relationship, even just a chance or a possibility at happiness with the Nine of Cups, it's emotional fulfillment, you know, you're not taking any any crap from anybody. You're not going to let anybody hold you back. You're pursuing that aggressively is what I see, all right? Why is the sun reversed for Virgo, please? Sun reversed for Virgo. Okay. Yeah, you feel like you put a lot of energy and effort into something. Seven of Pentacles, or sorry, eight of Pentacles reversed. Um, yeah, you feel like you put a lot of energy or effort into something and it didn't pay off and that's kind of pissing you off is what I'm seeing here. And again, it could be that you made an investment into a job and you worked really, really hard, put all your work and effort, did great things for the company. If you look at this guy, he's built this like golden shrine of pentacles okay um you did a lot for them and they didn't value you or appreciate it and that can also play into a relationship obviously um so it pisses you off is what i'm getting three of pentacles yeah okay guys you need to be careful if you're okay this is strong third party energy now okay seven of swords reversed if you're in a third party situation virgo and you don't want to get caught i don't know that you can't not get caught with that combo okay if um if somebody else, you might find out somebody in your group or in your close inner circle is not being truthful to you. You might catch them in a lie, catch them being deceptive, all right? Sorry, that's not the most positive message, Virgo, but I feel like there's a snake in your midst and you probably need to know about it, all right? You might already know who I'm talking about. I don't think this is going to come out of nowhere. I think you already have suspicions here, okay? Um, but it looks like there's somebody that's just you know, they're either lying to you or they have ulterior motives. Now, this could be at work, all right? This could be a coworker, a boss, somebody who's like, oh, hi, ha, ha, nice to meet you, nice to see you, have a happy Friday, and then behind your back, they call HR for no reason or, you know, things like that um, because they want to, you know, maybe get rid of you because you, uh, you are competition to them, okay, especially as it relates to higher-ups. Colleagues, I mean, lateral colleagues too, but uh, for some reason, I'm getting somebody has a boss, or a supervisor or somebody in a supervisory role um, that really is going to, like, is, is threatened by you, Virgo, is what I get. And so they're very cutthroat. Like, they might do something shitty um, because they feel like you're going to pose a threat to them. You might take their job or be better than them at it, you know. The tower reversed. Why is the tower reversed for Virgo? King of Swords reversed. More air. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, okay. So, King of Swords Upright is all about clarity. Mm, this is what it is. I think you're just not sure what to do. You know you need to get out of this tower situation. Get out while the getting's good before the tower falls. Or... Um, be the king of swords, but they're, they're, you're lacking some key vital information you need in order to rebuild and move forward. It's like you don't trust something or, or somebody, okay? Um, so do be careful. Again, I feel like this is going to be a big deal. That tower being there, you know, kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't want... Uh, just be careful. Be careful who you're dealing with, all right? Know that there's somebody around you that possibly does not have your best interest at heart. All right, Virgo, let's pull some love cards for you. All right, so we've got romantic feelings and give your relationship a chance. <sighs> All right, so, um, you know, this could, uh, with these two together, it could really mean that you really do love somebody, you know, and you want to work on the partnership. All right, um, others of you, uh, if you're blocking everybody out because you've just come out of this crazy situation, you know, and you meet somebody this month, which is very possible with this Ace of Swords, okay? Um, give it a chance. Don't just automatically be like, I'm never going to be in a relationship again or be very, you know, negative about it because this looks like, you know, maybe it's, it, it is going to be a good opportunity for you, you know? I mean, it looks like it would take a lot of time. I don't really have any love cards on the table per se. Um, this is more career, I believe, but, um, you know, don't be hasty in your actions, all right? Just give it a chance. Oracle card for Virgo. Awesome. So this one is card number... Oh, you got two. Okay. So you got two cards. I'll read them both. Um, card number 18, no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Okay. So the number 18 and also the number nine or one and eight may be significant. 17 also came out. Okay. Growing up, wanting to grow and experience rejection of perpetual youth. So let's read both of those. All right. And then again with those numbers, one and seven, also the number eight or 17. So for growing up, we have understanding that, uh, that the years bring their lessons to you, embrace becoming an elder, watching time make its marks upon you and embracing the signs of aging, understanding the wisdom that can come with age, be young at heart, yet yearning for encounters that will help you evolve, grow and experience the fullness of life. All right. So that's number 17. And then for number 18, which is no need to fear. It says, you may be afraid of, uh, out of habit, no, not out of reason, feeling intimidated, but without need. Remember how many reasons you have to feel confident. Go forward with courage. You are more powerful than you are feeling. Others cannot harm you as you are so strong. So that's a nice message, Virgo. You know, you got this. That's what it is. You, you have this, you know, in the bag. You just need to trust that you do and believe that you do and cut away that BS, guys. Don't tolerate this. You know, that's not cool. You know, even if it feels like it's a failure because you put so much effort into it, just understand that you can't control other people or their behaviors, but you have to control yourself in toxic situations, right? You do have control over that, okay? All right, Virgo. Once again, if you're interested in a personal reading, trust in truth tarot at gmail.com. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you here. Um, I wish you all a beautiful month of September, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.